42.4 megapixel inner 35m full frame cmos sensor with bionz x and it does 10 frames per second and up to 76 images on bust mode but this is just the specifications for photography hey guys today we're going to talk about the sony a7 r3 This is just press around 2,32,490. I would say it's very much affordable, but not for all. Let's dive in and just start talking about the specs and features on this Sony Alpha R3. First, let's talk about the sensor. It's a 42.4 megapixel sensor that has the Bion X processor, which is the fastest processor ever made. This thing shoots up to 72 images on continuously pressing this shutter in the continuous uh, drive mode that is available in this. So if you want to capture any any kind of action, you just need to basically you just need to press this. That's it. This thing is made for photography and can shoot up to 10 frames per second on AF mode. That includes 399 phase detection autofocus wait not only that it has 42 percentage contrast detection autofocus points which is like that is the selectable autofocus points that will be available on your lcd screen through which uh, you can uh, you, know, you know select it all day or just focus on something creative they say that the Autofocus is improved by two times. That is, this has animal eye autofocus and can, you know, focus almost instantly on anything. This thing has the ISO range from 100 to 300, and the upper limit is like 10. I'll put it somewhere around here. The even the numbers are unbelievable. Meaning, you can take this camera anywhere around 6 to 7 or 7:30 at most and shoot without any noise any sort of noise in your work and this could improve your life trust me this does it all in this kind of form factor you can see right basically it's just it's like if you if you are a person with a big pocket man this is the camera for you coming to the video specifications of this crafted masterpiece this thing has and shoots 4K in 120 frames, 60 and 30 and even in 24 you can shoot any kind of videos to it. This is not only a photo camera but this is basically the all-in-one. It also offers a very very good stabilizations. Your gimbal problems all are nearly over. It has 5 axis stabilizations and supports up to 5.5 stops of exposure uh, balance one of the features that i love about this camera is that it shoots in 120 frames and that's like that's like a great eye opener for me in 4k and that should be like a bliss this is roughly about eight centimeters of screen and the only mistake that sony has ever done and i have felt something that doesn't suit my everyday you know edc carry off camera is yeah this this screen this cannot be you know flipped or something like that does nothing of that sort you just have to take it out you can change your angle and that's 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 the only thing i felt the worthless shit about this camera everything else seems to be in perfect position and another one thing is the menu system i am not used to this menu system but if i try for uh, you know about a year or so maybe maybe i will get used to this the menu system is not so bad that the camera users are going to criticize this camera forever in their life and they don't buy the camera just because of that but sony you can even try to you know, 
listen to a few things maybe maybe okay so let's just talk about the features and uh, what kind of buttons are in this so first of all it has a, a flash show mount that's the most important thing and next it comes with the you basically see on off switch that turns on or off the camera and next is the custom one custom two but we have here on the left above the screen that is the c3 and towards the right over the delete button is the c4 and pretty much uh, these four buttons are the customizable buttons you can use it for anything if you are willing to use c1 to set your uh, color profile or user profile something like that it's very very easy this can do it and not only in that you can set two types of uh, uh, customizations to this camera and this is the most you know uh, most loved feature for me uh, next thing is the battery this battery can take up, up to 650 photos in a single shot uh, with the uh, LCD screen on all the time with the maximum brightness and this doesn't this battery doesn't stop man this doesn't stop and it even charges quickly with USB 3.1 Gen 1 which is absolutely a killer fast okay let's just go into the next button uh, unlike the some other uh, DSLRs or the mirrorless cameras they don't give the joystick so out of, uh, popped out so that you won't be even uh, you know uh, smudging it or uh, by mistake pressing another button or something like that this is very very compact and I felt that this is the most fastest to work on while uh, doing or uh, scrolling through menus or checking out something else. This absolutely works like a charm. Next thing is the function button. This access accesses everything. And next is the uh, sort of that uh, you know rotating thing that you can scroll through the menu or uh, zoom in or zoom out that thing. And next is the delete button. And next is the play button which is uh, you know used for viewing the images that you have uh, got on above we have got menu and on the right we have got we've got the record button i mean yes we 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 want it right the most uh, you know the useful feature on this camera is the exposure dial on this this thing works like you know whenever you need to expose less or more you can just you adjust it here and you're set for life i mean you don't need to go on to you know shutter or maybe like you don't need to get down to iso to increase the sensitivity of the sensor however i would recommend you to do that because the cleaner your iso is the better the image will be so exposure is just going to control the light on a subject so that's one of the useful features added on in this and i kind of not used to you know using turning on to video mode on a different dial and then you know switching on a record button over here i'm just used to you know just getting the video function on the on off switch which is completely shit in this now when i forget to turn off the camera this thing doesn't work it doesn't record so what i have is, i have to do is turn this on then turn my mode dial from manual to this thing and this thing locks up too so you got to press this and then you go to turn it to video mode and this is going to be quite painful because i need two hands to do it so like this manual and then you're gonna do it to the video mode which is absolutely shit and i have disliked this thing forever uh, nothing nothing much to say about it and with that signing off